Bonjour, everyone. Oh, bonjour. What a lot of stuff we got in France. It's time for our haul episode. So, so let's, let's start, start the, the show. show. Well, of course, as you know, one of my favourite shops is C&A. Yes, it is. You know, I didn't make the most of it when it was in the UK. There was a Did big one in Belfast. Yeah, it took up like a massive um, building. I think it was in Royal Avenue and hardly ever went to it, probably because I was hardly ever in Belfast. But um, I always make the most of it now every time we go to Europe. And <sighs> what a lot of stuff I got. But we also got a lot of food things as well, so perhaps we should start off with some of those, right, Paul? We bought so much that we had to fit another duffel bag inside my other suitcase because there was just an abundance of things. So yes. why don't we first start off with things that were opened in transit? Um, yes. Now, on our very first uh, full day, we went to the Monoprix supermarket, which was quite near where we were staying in Marseille. And we spent over 100 euro on I think, food and various other bits and pieces. I think, wasn't it close to like 120 or something? Yes, I said it was well over 100. So this is Lay's and this is chicken flavored rotisserie chicken. So This is open already. Yeah, it's open in the back. I think it's because it exploded in the flight. And, huh? and Because um, they expand. And then this is, Monoprix chips, um, natural flavor, and then also this is the packaging for a Monoprix assortment of biscuits. Now what I want to know is how did that get opened? Look, this bit just... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're right. I thought you'd opened it. I didn't open it. <laughs> so there's a selection of that chocolate covered biscuits in there. We have that kind of stuff here. That's in weird how that opened no, though. It just ripped open. In flight. I didn't do it. It probably expanded. It's probably because of the way it was packed. And the mm. thing is in flight, they do sort of expand out. What I want to know is that on a flight, how come when they hand you like a bag oh, of awesome. crisps or biscuits or something, how come they don't expand? So is there like a tiny hole in the packet that they serve you from the trolley. Are you referring to these British Airways? Yeah, yeah. These, these ones didn't expand. No, <laughs> and that's a fact that they almost contracted. So these but are mini chocolate chip cookies and they do serve this or the, the, the savory, savory um, salt and vinegar. Thing. Yeah, but they're really sort of hard, those things. Those um corn nuts, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the state of my teeth these days, I can't eat anything like that. Well, we'll come back to some more of the food items in a moment, but I want to take you through some of my clothes now. And I went slightly mad because yes, did. we were planning to have an outdoor summer drinks party this year, but we had to move it inside. So uh, at this point, we hadn't actually recorded it, but I think I might wear this anyway. So you might have already seen this, but this is a sort of <laughs> shirt. Are you it's even holding it up the right way? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, it, well, it says this, it says game on on it. You see, so it says so. Why don't we show it at the back? Maybe that's easier to show. It's exactly the same back and front. It says game on, and, and it looks kind of neon, and it, like it, it kind of looks like it's from like one of those like New York motor races thing because of the the lighting here. Yeah, and I don't think you'd iron this because it would. I don't it think would, it would melt. It says relaxed fit. That's good for me. And you what's it made of? At all. What's what's the material? Uh, oh, polyester. There, there is a, a label. It looks like it's polyester down here. Let's see. This is C and A. Mm -hmm. And yeah, no. Oh, I said you can iron it. Uh, oh, but I don't think I'd do that. Uh, <laughs> relaxed fit. The polyester. I can't see what it says. It's all going to be in French anyway. Uh, it's just polyester. Oh, polyester. 100% polyester. But I think it would have to be ironed on, on like a really low heat. And you know what French for polyester is? Polyester? Polyester, but with an I, it seems. I'm just going to move this one out of the way. 
and we will come to the next couple of items that I got at CNA and then we'll move on to some more food. Did you get everything from CNA? I think so, yeah. <laughs> Possibly why well, I didn't, but we'll, we'll see. Um, so I needed some shorts because I, I only ever get shorts at CNA or Dunn Stores and Last year, one of the pairs that I got from Dunn Stores was too big, actually, because oh, I remember no. I got an XL and an XXL, because I thought, oh, they, they just seem to be the same. But the day I tried them on was one of the hottest days of the year, and I think it's because I was, like, sweaty, and everything was just sticking to me, when I even when I tried things on in the store. So I discovered that one of the pairs of shorts, the XXL, actually keep falling off me. So I did try on XL and XXL at CNA, and the XL was the one that actually fitted. So I got this orangey pair, and then the same type. It's a nice color. Yeah, this blue one. And I guess we should talk about the price of these things as well. So what was the price? The shorts were twelve ninety nine. That's and good value. Let me I just think. find out the price of the shirt. And while I do that, why don't you talk about some more of the food? So when we go to France or any other um, foreign country, I do like to pick up these really interesting brands. And we've seen this one before, Bratz. So, so this is um, Crinkle Cut and I believe this is regular flavor. It says on the back that it's 100% French. And then I wanted this one, this other bread one, because it's jalapeno cheese. And I do like my cheesy, spicy flavor. And jalapeno cheese, mmm, that sounds like a pizza. Show the characters on the back, because you can see where it says 100% French. Oh, yeah. And they have their little tractor and everything, where they're going out to get their fritties. Potatoes to you and me. Going on the same um, cheesy theme, this is also um, cheese flavor. Is it Lay's an American brand? This is, this is American. But isn't Lay's the same as Walker's? Or is it? Yes. It's well, the, it's, isn't it the well, same type of logo? I think it has the same manufacturer. Um, PepsiCo. Oh, right. Okay. So this is Emmental, which is a type of cheese. And this is by Lay's. You got all the cheesy ones because I don't really like the cheese, so you can eat all those yourself. Now, the shirt you saw before was $19.99. Now, speaking of shirts, let's skip oh, the t-shirts for now. Um, we'll come to this button-up shirt. And what did you like about this? Well, I, I needed an extra, well, I thought I needed an extra short-sleeved button-up shirt while we were there. Mm -hmm. And I always do like the short-sleeved ones, and they're difficult to get any that Over actually here? fit. Yeah, there's nothing over in the UK that seems to suit me, or, oh. or at least in, in Britain. Uh, Dunn Stores does the trick, Old Navy in the US and CNA. All so, stores that aren't in this country. That aren't in Britain, anyway. Dunn Stores, yes, there are Dunn Stores in parts of the UK, but not in, not in the part that's not called Great, Great Britain. Britain. Okay, don't write in about that. Anyway, um, this was 19.99, and it's my sort of style with that sort of... Uh, check played, I suppose. Plaid. Plaid. Okay, you plaid played me. <laughs> uh, back to the food. So we did buy a lot of uh, coffee. Coffee pods. So we have a Nespresso machine, as you guys know. Um, and this is a brand that we don't normally see. Cardinal. Well, I think that we do have it, but I don't think I've seen this variety. No. Or the size, which is a 30 pack, and this is a espresso intenso, and it's number nine because I do need to wake up in the morning. Mmm. And I saw these Nescafe ones, and there was a whole series of them. There were some that were as strong as the Carte Noir. Like the tens. Or something. Yeah, but I sometimes, I don't really particularly like a strong coffee at all times. So I got a number six intensity, which is Colombia, and a number seven, Mexico. And they are espresso. Or is it espresso? Espresso. I, I all say espresso. It's not Yeah, that, there's probably people who say, oh, he always says espresso, the same way as I pick up on people who say words wrong. So we do like to pick up on our chocolates, and th this one seems like it's white chocolate. Isn't well, it? yeah, this this is basically a, um, a milky bar. Yeah. Why do you like white it's chocolate? It's chocolate blank. It's not white chocolate. Marketed. Too... 
Yeah, it's not sweet. It's not marketed as Milky Bar, but it's the same color of wrapping. I think Mil Milky Bar is made by Nestle, isn't Milky it? Milky Bar? I don't I don't think I know that. You one. you don't know the Milky Bar kid? No. The Milky I Bar think I might have heard of it. Na, 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 na. You need to watch an ad on YouTube from years ago. But I did pick this cart door. Um a cart door does um ice cream, which I Actually think it's not, it says Coat Dior. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Coat Dior. Don't, don't let the horse bolt after the cart doors. So a coat a coat door is a French brand. Yes. Or is it Belgian or something? I think it's French. But I think that they do sell in other countries as well because I have seen this elsewhere. But I... This is dark chocolate, is it? Or no, milk? this is milk. Latte. Lay. Oh, okay. Sorry, latte is... So, if... So, when I order a latte, I think they kind of refer to it as cafe au lait, which oh, means right. coffee milk. Right. I always get confused between French and Spanish because I, I was like... Said, Cafe said, con <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I, I, you did say that. I said, por favor, at one point. To and then they were like, and then I thought, no, girl. Well, they weren't paying any attention anyway. <laughs> okay, back to the clothes. And there are two t shirts here. And this is one that I picked up for you. Actually, there's three t shirts. Are yeah. these both the same? No, 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 they're not. Okay, so they are all CNA. So, yeah, it's everything so CNA. this one. I picked up while you were in the dressing room because I thought that it had like this um this image of the world this this print. Oh, so it is. I didn't even notice what it was. Oh, and look, New Zealand is on it because there's lots of maps where New Zealand's been left off, but it's here. Look, so in case that you is don't a believe, good thing. There it is, New Zealand, which we did go to. Yeah, and this back was, in 2023. Yeah, this was 15.99. And it says I, it's performance wear, CNA so, actor. So I think that you could wear this, like when you do exercise or what. Yeah, but th uh, this one is more like that because this is this, this is, is kind one of velcro -y, Yeah, like the sweat proof. That, yeah, that you could sweat. Because even though this one does say active on it, it's not the it's same not material. It's not the same material. But this, this material you don't iron. That's the other thing I like about these shirts. These ones you could dry quickly because of the material. Yes, so they're good for like hot weather, or what I also find, I wouldn't wear this to work because it's yellow, but I've got like blue coloured ones, or black coloured ones, and they're good we're for under. an undershirt when it's maybe a little bit colder. And the last of the t-shirts is, this like one, it says, one? well I like, I like the green, it sort of reminded me of Ireland. Say league. It says league on it, oh, and, and it's, this is and it's like backwards too on this side. Oh yeah, so uh, it says it on both sides. And it's nine ninety nine that one. The other shirts, the one that we just looked at, this active like? one was fifteen ninety nine. This one was like, and we said this one wasn't it? Was oh, fifteen ninety nine as well. Yeah, fifteen ninety nine. Okay, um, back to coffee. I there's a dent the, in yeah, it. there's a dent in it because <laughs> of the travel. Yeah, and uh, so this is Supreme de Arabia. No, Arabica. Arabica, because that's what coffee's made of, Arabica. Oh, okay, and it's Grand Cru de Exception. So I've got no idea what any of that means, but is it's 100% Arabica. Uh, I don't think so. Is I it? can't make any of it out. Oh, 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 it must be French. On the side. Produced by Hergstelt von, uh, yeah, Karos Sedex. From. Sedex is like a French, um, kind of like the way that we have like limited and like oh. U UK limited or something. Oh, I see. So I thought it was... Sedex is like that in relation so to France. So is Caros the name of the place then? Probably. I've got no idea, but let's... Don't write in. Yeah, <laughs> let's open it. It's probably got one of those... Like, like seals. Yeah, it has. It's got one of those seals mm. on it. Oh, it smells absolutely wonderful. Well, I'm sure it will do. And... Just on the same subject of drinks, before we get to the last clothes item. It's weird that you bought this. Yeah. Oh, this is kind of burst open a bit as well. Because of the travel. Yeah. Now, why would I buy Twinings of London Original English Breakfast Tea? Well, I, I cheaper here? Well, you don't normally see these here. No. These are for export. International people. Yeah. Um, and I also nice. thought that I might need some extra tea bags at the hotel. They did provide us with one English breakfast 
and one Earl Grey each day from that. What was that? Carlos or something? Kumusi. Oh, tea? yes, which is a French a French brand, and it was Premier very one. nice. And we were able to bring a few bags back because there were days when I didn't actually drink tea. But the thing is, when I'm doing my editing at a hotel, sometimes I, I need multiple uh, cups of tea. Right. So back to the clothes and the last item, and this was one which um, I mean, some things were on the list. I thought I want to get at least a t one T-shirt, one button-up shirt. Um, but I didn't really have a jacket on the list, but the thing is, it's so difficult to buy jackets for me that when I see one, even if it's out of season, I'll just get it. And there was one that I got at Old Navy, I think, a couple of years ago. And I then don't I, even think you wore it yet. And I have worn it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's, it's been seen in a few episodes with a sort of a greeny oh, colour. Right, okay, and I forgot one. that I even got it, and then I found it. I thought, oh, this is great. Yeah, so it's like finding new stuff all over again. Do you want to try it on for us? Yeah. Why don't I put this one on? Okay. Because I don't normally would what about wear this, this sort of that, blue colour. What about this that um, attracted you to it? Oh, I probably the pockets. Oh, there's like one on the side. Yeah. twenty nine ninety nine, And all these figures are in Euro, by the way. So you can work out in your own currency what it is. Um, yeah, it's got quite it's a, light a good way. zip. Yeah, so I like the pockets and there is like a little oh cool uh, popper in there like that. So and you mean like a pen or no, like that's a, a, well, a little popper thing, isn't it? It pops. Is so a button? Yeah, it's not a button. Oh, and then this thing on the side. There's like yeah, I don't know what. Why would you put something in there? Like though? your keys or something? I don't. Know. I wouldn't have keys in my arm. Oh, I don't know. Like no, your... I can't get. And then how are you supposed to get it back up? Like maybe your credit card. I don't know. But look. There's also little, no, well, there's nothing on that side. Well, what's, is this to stick something in? Oh my God. Like a pen or something. <laughs> but it's a bit weird. Why would you put a pen <laughs> in your arm? Anyway, right in. Let, oh, let, let us and know. Then there's like inside pockets. Oh, yeah. I think I saw. Well, if there isn't an inside pocket, I feel sort of hard done by because it is I good. I saw one. To put the phone in. Yeah, so there's I one. I saw one. There is one there. Side. Yeah. So. I'll be able to hang all this stuff up now because until we do one of these episodes, I can't wear any of this stuff. So we're nearly done. I think there's only one thing left, although while you show these, there is something else that I got that I'd already packed away. So I need to get that. So why don't you talk, that? talk through the Kit Kats? So Marcus is all about um, buying things that he it doesn't normally see back at home because what's the point in buying something that you could buy at home while you're away because you're just bringing back extra weight. So this is a Nestle Kit Kat mini mix. So it has five different varieties. It has salted caramel, classic white, peanut butter, and noisettes, which is, I think, almonds. And these are little mini ones. And yeah. They are um, 17 pieces and it totals up to 240.9 grams. So that's it's an old like number. A why, pretty good snack. Why would they have 17? That's, I don't a, that's know. A, a weird sort of number to have. It must be because of the total weight. Because I think some have more additional things inside. Yeah, which, but why would you have like. I don't know. Why would it not be sort of a. More evenly? Yeah, even 15, for example. Or 18. But 17? Very, very weird. Okay, have a look at this, and then I shall reveal my surprise item after this break. <laughs> Don't cry, foul. Just subscribe to It's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. Keep your eyes closed, Paul, because the surprise item is coming in. And before I put it in your hand, just breathe in. Breathe in. Better not attack me. Anything? Picking up anything there? Well, that's a shame. Because, look, <laughs> it's soap, my dear. Oh, God. Yeah. 
Mm. Didn't we also buy that other thing? What other thing? The thing from um, Jules. Oh, you better go get that. Yes, all these things that we just <laughs> remember. We bought so much. But I always like to get soap while I'm um, away anywhere. Savon. Um, so, is it Savon? Yeah. Is that what it's? Oh, yes, yeah, Savon. That must be French for soap. Savon Extra Dew. Extra Dew? I don't know what that is. I'm sorry, French and me, they just don't mix. But I always get a soap just to sort of remind me of where I was. And these I just picked up at Monoprix, the supermarket actually. And this one is Lat de Rose, or Rose, no, Rose. And it does smell lovely, I have to say. And the other one is Cotton. It's a more subtle sort of smell, but the Rose one is really nice. Oh, wow. So at the minute, I'm actually going through some of the soaps that we got in New Zealand. So that was over a, uh, almost a year ago. So you can sort of tell how far behind I am. Now we went to Aix en Provence and we picked up this bottle of Bon Homme by Jules. So I saw this originally at the at the mall in, close in to Marseille. the hotel. Yeah, and then you decided not to get it at that time. You were I was delivering. overwhelmed. Yes, because we just spent all that money in Monoprix. And then we thought... About 120 oh, Yeah, yeah, euros. yeah. And it was 30 degrees and everything was going to our head. And, and I think that they were checking everyone's bags through security. Oh, that was only going in. This, yeah. this was weird. When we went in, they weren't checking bags at the shopping centre. By the time we were going out, they were checking people Everyone's going Everyone's bags. So if you got in before midday, no checks. After midday, your bag will be checked. Hmm. So if you're taking something that you shouldn't be in, and you go in before 12, they'll not check you. So it doesn't make any sense. Why don't they just check all the time? So this is a really nice cologne. Um, I think it's a really nice scent and the shopkeeper was very nice. Uh, very yes, helpful. yes, and yes. They were very interesting and they asked where we were from. Yes, they were then, the only people who really spoke to us. And then I think France. that the shopkeeper wanted to go to New York because that's what I remembered most about that conversation. Yes. And also his other cute friend. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, but yeah, so that was a really good um, purchase and really helpful customer service. And just hotels. like the soap, we've got so many perfumes. How many do we well, have? Well, actually, we've got, well, the one on use at the minute is one that we Patrick. got in Ireland. Yes, and that was in June of 2023. <sighs> wow. We've still got uh, two others before this. We got one in Sweden. Oh, no, in um, uh, Slovenia. Did we? Yeah, from that shop, Oliver. S. Oliver. You don't even remember, you say. No. So they're all sort of backed up. And because you, you know, have to e use it even in that, that order. Yeah, we use them in the order that we got them usually. It isn't advisable to open more than one. Oh no, don't open more than one at, at one time because the they, the scent will evaporate, evaporate over time. Yeah, uh, the only thing is if you do get a bottle of this size. Um, it does take a while. Yeah, and then you can get bored with it um, because we don't really go out. <laughs> we, we go all to these foreign countries, but we don't go out. No, like... I think it's better to have a scent that isn't uh, normalized here, that isn't typical. Yeah, and then maybe someone will mention it. I say, oh, where is this fragrance from? When they don't mention it, that's when I sort of think, oh, oh they don't like this. and they're not Hugo Boss, probably. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that is it for today. So thank you all for watching our YouTube channel today. For those of you that have liked it, give us a thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button because it will help us along our journey to provide better content for you all out there. And for those of you that want to leave a comment, you can do so as well because we do read them along the way. Now, I know that we did get some coffee while we were in France, but if you would like to help us along our way by buying us a coffee, then there is a link in the description of how you could donate and that would be very welcome indeed. So until next time, it's au revoir. Au revoir. Ciao. That's Italian. Whatever. <laughs>